I'm not here to influence or manipulate, but to just give you my opinion on these projects. All right. And basically tell you what I'm about to do. I'm getting out of XPR Proton, Cadena, as well as Credo. All right. And I'm going to discuss this in a second. Okay. Keeping all the emotions aside. But, but before I get into that, let's look at the price. And also the chart. Okay. So this is XPR. Proton right here. I got into Proton. I talked about Proton quite a few times, right? And it's nothing to do with the price. Obviously, if you follow me, then you know what happened recently. I commented on one of the tweets and the Marshall, the CEO, blocked me. They're like, oh, this guy's criticizing me because I blocked. It's not on the block. And I also said, if Dok1 did the same, I would have been out of Luna before the crash. Can you believe this? So... Marshall did a great job. I wish he did it earlier. Okay, so um, yes, I'm not gonna get into much details. If you wanna know what made me decide on XPR and all this stuff, sure, I'll create a video separately later on. But as of now, okay, I don't like XPR um, and uh, Cadena. I'm gonna discuss that later on as well. Credo. Okay, so over here, if you look at the chart, this is uh, XPR. Okay, Proton. All-time high was about, well, this last bull run went up to 4.7, close to 5 cents. And now, in sub 2 cents, I'm literally being flat for a while, all right? That's XPR. Credo. Disgusting. One of my other worst crypto picks. All the way, went up to $9.00. Oh man, nine dollar eighty cents, ninety cents, and right now sitting at twenty cents, which is pretty much bottomish. Okay. And last but not the least, Cadena, where are you? Yeah, sure, one dollar to twenty cents. Check this out. All time low. Cadena went all the way to twenty eight dollars. It's a negative. It's pretty much twenty eight x, right? So, one of my worst picks, losses, I would say, Cadena. And again, if I sell, that's a loss. But it's not only for the loss, it's about the project. Okay? I don't understand the project. And um, there are a lot of other things going on in this world. And uh, there are a lot of other projects I got involved. I like Cosmos Ecosystem. And I want to keep, you know, stay focused and do the right thing, and whatever works for me. So, in the next run, or whatever, a pump, or whatever, you know, I find uh, convenient for me, I'm out of these ecosystems. XPR for sure, okay? Because, I told you, the founder, it's kind of weird, man. I asked about the tokenomics, and uh, matter of fact, let me show you this. A lot of crybabies here. Watch. I'm gonna create a bunch of videos. If I wanted views and uh, clouds, I would have a bunch of videos. Look at, look at the engagement. Block you is a must do. If you're a CEO, you have your vision. And when you see anything FUD, just block it and keep doing the good work. Successful people always do that. <laughs> successful people always block people. Yes, you mean the scammer successful people. The scammers. The legit successful people wouldn't do that. And there are only a few of them out there. Again, maybe paid shills or not, but some of the, you know, comments are very interesting. Same thing with Ryan Harris. The price is down because of the bear market. Everybody keeps talking about the price. I don't give a shit about the price. I, you know, like I said, characters of the CEO, founders, okay, attitude. It's not about the feelings, but literally... It's how they do their thing. Just like Dok1, MM Finance, or whatever. Only if I knew how they would behave and react to certain things. If Dok1 blocked me, or I only if I only challenged him. Dok1, Luna is shit. Yeah, you suck. I wish he said that. I would have, you know, literally pulled out of Luna. I would, would have been in a better position. So, you know, all these people waiting on Marshall to, uh, what? Marshall printed 4 billion XPR in 2 years and now it's selling XPR like crazy. 
I don't care about the tokenomics anymore. All these guys over here in the comments, I could just delete it in a matter of seconds because it's my channel. I can keep, I can delete whatever I want. But, you know, if it's, if it makes sense, like I said, for me, there's no, no such thing as FUD, okay? If it's, um, if it's valid, if, um, you know, if it's, it's a decent question, I'll answer. But if it's uh, actually a FUD, then I'll kick it out of the channel. And a lot of things over here, emotion, what I see. You guys are just holding back because you're emotion, emotional, basically. I was emotional. I was DJN, everything. Okay, I played with the whole ecosystems for two years, and I learned a few things. And based on that, I'm giving you my two cents. I'm not here to tell you to do exactly what I'm doing. Why are you so concerned about my views then? Why not? How about you create your own channel and pump XPR? For me, I'm deleting the X. First of all, here's the thing. And then I'm going to get to Cadena and then Credo. I'll tell you in a second. Then I'll end this, okay? So, three tokens as of now, I told you. One of my worst um, bad ones. Because all time high, literally. But let me tell you this in a second. Cadena, 24, 1, 2. Okay? I still have to find out about Cadena, but this is not normal. We learn from this. This is. Yeah. I'm not interested. Okay? I'm out. It's, it's more of like supporting an ecosystem for a while and making money. For, for this, Cosmos system, I support and I want to make money. Cadena, XPR, and the Credo, whatever I have right now that I'm holding back, I just want out. I'm not interested in supporting the ecosystem. That's my point. You want to support it? That's up to you. Cadena, brutal. XPR, same thing. Just look at the chart. Nothing to do with the bear market. I'll explain that later, okay? The entire ecosystem is flawed. Credo. Oh man, nine dollars seventy cents, and sitting at twenty cents. Disaster, right? All of them, they have um, some sort of product. Beside Cadena, they have a wallet, obviously desktop. So, anyways, we start wasting any time. The next thing I'm gonna do is let me see do i have an xpr app here yes i do and i'm gonna delete that right away all right so let me show you this real quick you won't be able to see it properly it's all right okay there's this xpr right here glory xpr so it's a proton and metal app so my plan and i'm gonna explain my plan later okay so i'm gonna unstake my proton and delete my metal I don't need that. I'm gonna unstake my proton. I'm gonna send it to KuCoin. All right. I will be sending to my KuCoin, and I'm gonna be. Well, I'm back on KuCoin. I'm gonna start playing with KuCoin, leverage, trading, as well as a um, oh, little bit of day trading once in a while. Uh, well, I'm gonna talk about this later. Limit limit orders and stuff. Okay. But this is what I'm doing. Okay. I'm getting out of Proton, Cadena. I'm not asking you to do the same, but me, Cadena, XPR, as well as um, Credo. Cadena, I probably will keep it for a while. Like I said, anytime I see a decent range pump, there's nothing pumping in the bear market. So if I have to hold it for the next bull, I will. All these people telling me it's going 10x. All right, give me a 10x. I'm out. Okay, <laughs> but I'm not interested to buy anymore, basically. All right. And I don't, I don't believe in the system. Simple as that. So I'm going to be deleting the app. I'm going to be transferring Cadena to KuCoin, Credo to KuCoin, XPR to KuCoin. And I'm going to start playing with the rest of the stuff, which I'm going to, again, create a separate video on this. Okay. So Rebel Nation, hope you found this useful. Stay away from all this noise and junk people. I'll cover this again. Stay safe. Stay vigilant. Don't get wrecked.